What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Pokemon Quest team. Now, uh, normally this day is a Pokemon sweep day, but today I have another theme team. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a spoiling this week. Real quick, people, the uh, Postman Pimp series is uh, back, but uh, if you are new to my channel and you don't know about this and you want to send me something, it can be a letter, it can be a packet of salt, my P.O. box is in the description of the video. I have a couple of things to open already, but I thought I'd wait for a few more so I could do like a big like opening of you guys' stuff on a video. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd say that one. If you guys uh, do want to battle me, then my Discord is in the description of the video. I take all my battles and stuff on there. We have got over a thousand members now, only in a very short couple of uh, days, I guess. So, uh, this was a battle against Triple A Gaming. Now, we, what I did with this team, right, is I used the six random shiny Pokemon, and I used the moves that actually got in the game. So, that made for some challenging movesets, because some of them are quite redundant, like having the same kind of move, or just like, the same move with a little bit more base belt. Right, uh, my opponent actually had quite an interesting team, too. I wonder if you can guess it. The question of the day is, what is your first ever shiny Pokemon? In Pokemon Quest, if you haven't played the game, what is your first shiny Pokemon in the games? We're not, we can't include Gyarados, people. So uh, we have a Lolan Jew dude here. I've got a Belly Drum uh, Licky Licky. So lick, I mean Licky Tongue. Sorry, they both got a tongue. So we got Amnesia Roll Out Power Up Punch and Belly Drum. Now I've got Quick Claw on this one. The idea is to get the uh, <laughs> the Belly Drum up and just go for Roll Out, and I uh, hope that I can get a sweep. I really want to get a sweep with this. Unfortunately, this time the Geo dude went boom and took out my Licky Tongue. Uh, not the start that I really wanted, but. Uh, that's not too bad. At least, at least the Geodude got rid of itself. Right, the, the, the thread is gone, people. The Alolan Geodude. Right, so now we've got a Graveler. You might be able to see what this, uh, think what this team is. And I'm going to swap in my Abra. So Abra, this is actually quite interesting if you guys didn't know this one, right? So we've got uh, Abra being the special attacker. Now, in the game, it gets Psybeam, but it actually can't learn Psybeam in these games, which is quite interesting. So I gave it Psychic instead. So we've got Dazzling Gleam, Psychic. Flash and Light Screen. I know, such an amazing moveset, right? Uh, we've got the Ability Magic Guard and the Item Focus Sash, which come into handy uh, right, really, really well here due to that sand and everything like that. Obviously, I can't take any damage for that due to the Magic Guard, so I gave it uh, Focus Sash as well. They work very nice uh, together because, you know, Stealth Rocks and stuff doesn't work either. So now we've got the uh, Alolan Golem coming in, going for Psychic just to get some kind of damage against it. It's going to go for the uh, Nature Power, which is going to turn into an Electric Type Attack, and it's going to be a special set too, which is nice, and uh, that's going to take out my Abra. Man, that crit, guys, that crit just totally made it. So now we've got uh, another, we also can see that's got the Life Orb there as the item. Now the Sand does stop, and I'm going to swap in my Porygon. So this Porygon set, right, it had dual stabs, so it had Hyper Beam, Tri Attack, Thunderbolt, and Shadow Ball. This is an analytic set um, made to be just bulky and uh, attack last, and with analytic obviously to power it up. So it's going to go for the Tri Attack again, do doing over half health to me. Go for the Shadow Ball here, hoping I can take out the Golem, and it lives on like one health. Got uh, guys, I guess you know there's a there's only one good thing about this. I was, uh, you know, I actually enabled myself to plug my merch once again. Thank you, Golem, for that opportunity. No, I'm just joking. So anyway, uh, the Golem's going to go down to the Life Orb damage, and uh, I'm going to Shadow Ball just thin air. So we got uh, half the team down, but my Porygon's only a little bit of health, so I guess it's going to get revenge killed by this Geodude. So now Geodude is going to go for the Bulldoze on my Porygon to take him out. I, I really love uh, Bulldoze animation. I actually quite like it but, uh, better than uh, Earthquake, and uh, Magnitude looks sick too. Uh, so anyway, bringing Magikarp, the, you know, the most important player on my team. Now, Magikarp, right, I, it didn't really have the greatest moves either. Not that it has a great move set anyway, or move pull. Uh, on this one, it gets bounce, so I gave it the uh, Flying EMZ bounce, and I think it had Splash as well, and I just had, it had Tack on Flail. I'm not sure if it actually got those moves in the game, but uh, I imagine that it would. So go for the Supersonic uh, Scum Strike on the Geodude. Now, I knew this wouldn't take it out, but if it did have uh, Sturdy or something, I could at least break that and do some damage to it. Magikarp really wasn't the uh, most handy Pokemon in these battles, but uh, I almost took, guys, I almost took a Caterpie out once. It was it was touch and go there for a second. Anyway, so we've got the Geodude using the Rock Blast on my Magikarp, and it's going to take me out, man. <sighs> they must have hacked to take out my my Magikarp. There's no way I could have died. So now we're going to swap in my Dratini. Now, this Dratini had, uh, it had Dragon Death Extreme Speed and Dragon Rush, so I was like, that's pretty good. Um, I've got Max Attack and Max Speed on it. Shed Skin and Focus Dash. So I go for the Dragon Rush on the Geodude, and I get a flinch through them, but yes! Normally I miss that attack, but uh, it's nice that it does have a flinch. So of course, of course, Dragon Rush misses the second time, and of course they get an explosion off. I totally, like, my good luck turned into bad luck, and they're gonna take my Dratini out with the explosion. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, kidding. 
I'm just salty about that one. All right. I've got one more Pokemon left. This is probably the best Pokemon team. This is Machamp. I think Machamp is like a really good Pokemon in Pokemon Quest as well. I have, Like I said, I haven't played a lot of this game. You guys can fill me in on the details about that. So we've got the... Uh, I like, actually really like Alolan Grab. It looks cool. Uh, so going for the uh, Cross Chop on this one. Man, this thing is bulky. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a critical hit on this. This is a critical hit Machamp set. Uh, we've got on this one... Cross Chop, Rolling Kick... Bulk up and foresight with no guard and scope lens. So the idea is to recruit the uh, opponent with cross drop and just take them out in one shot. Now, anyway, the, the main thing on this set was rolling kick. Now, rolling kick has a chance of flinching. And man, I had so much fun with this set. I was trolling so many people. Anyway, so they've got the uh, toxic up against my mate champ. They've got one more Pokemon left, which is the normal golem. So I was a little bit worried, right? Have they got weakness policy on this set? I'm sure they've got sturdy, so I thought... The only way to probably win this one is to go for the uh, rolling kick and try and get the flinch. And I do! Man, that was so good. Anyway, so the uh, Toxic is going to do a little bit more damage to Machamp. Now I thought, well, I'm going to go for Cross Drop here and just take them out. I'm not going to go for another rolling kick because it's definitely not going to uh, it's definitely not going to flinch and I'm going to get unlucky. Taking out the Golem with the critical hit on Cross Drop. And that is game. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really cool team. It's like a Geodude Evolution team. And the Alola one, too, so is really cool. I'm surprised I haven't actually done that one. Someone's got to suggest that. Uh, so, we got another battle. This one was on my Discord as well. This was against Tapu Dust. So, we got a Lipard lead. Now, I thought I could go for the Belly Drum and Power Up Punch combo here. Or I could go for the Roller. I was thinking, if I go for Belly belly Drum and then go for Power Up Punch, I can one-shot it right. So, that's what I wanted to do. So, Lickitung's going to go... Uh, Go for the belly drum. I get paralyzed. It doesn't really matter too much because I do have quick claw, so that's all good. Anyway, yeah, so the life part's gonna go for the insist. It's gonna grab a random move here. Unfortunately, it's gonna get a ghost move, which is not gonna affect me. I'm gonna go for the power punch. Thank goodness I don't get paralyzed. And uh, Lipard is going to lie down. So I've got the early lead here, people, and I've got plus six in attack. All I need to do right is to get that quick claw to activate. Another five times in a row, right? And I can get this Lickitung sweep. Anyway, so yeah, the Bidette's going to be a special set. Going for the uh, T-Bolt. Obviously, you can't go for its main stab Shadow Ball. And I'm able to get the rollout up. I was hoping this would be like a crit or something, but uh, that wasn't the case. Does have a half off. Quick roll activate. And I'm able to get the second rollout out against the Bennett, and that's going to take it out. Now, rollout is like really super powerful now. Plus, I've got plus six in attacks. It's like, man, this is... Guys, we could be getting a Friday video here. Come on. Anyway, so Spirit, even though it's Friday. So we got the Spirit Tomb video. Uh, Spirit Tomb video. The Spirit Tomb coming out. I already got a Spirit Tomb video. And uh, it's going to go for the Sucker Punch and finish off my Lickitung. Man, I wish it didn't have Sucker Punch. But most of the time it does. It couldn't use Shadow Sneak, so the only move. I, I kind of knew that it was going to use it, but obviously I couldn't do much about it. So we got Abra coming in. Now, this Pokemon was a little bit of a problem to my team. The best I could really do was go for the Dazzling Gleam against it. Uh, a lot of my other Pokemon were like super hard hitters either. So obviously I'm going to leave the Shadow Sneak on my Focus Ash. Going for the Dazzling Gleam, uh, it kind of does underwhelming damage, but it's about a three hit KO, so I'm kind of happy with that. Now I knew they'd go for another uh, Shadow Sneak against my Abra, so what I did is I swapped into my Porygon, a normal type, so that wouldn't affect me. Now on the Porygon, I've got... Um, I've got Thunderbolt, which is probably the best move that I can use against it. And I've also got Shadow Ball too. So now they're going to go for a Taunt, hoping uh, that I'm running like a stalling set. I'm not running a stalling set at all. I'm running like a, a bulky sweep up. And now, now I'm going to go for the T-Bolt. Uh, obviously, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, uh, Porygon doesn't have the greatest special attack. And Spirit Tube is fairly tanky too. So it's going to go for another little bit of damage with Sucker Punch. And I'm going to finally take it out with the Thunderbolt. I was actually quite uh, glad they didn't have Pain Spit because that, well, they may not have used it, but... Uh, I really didn't have actually a lot to hit that with. So now we got the uh, we got the big rat coming out. I'm gonna go for the hyper beam here. It's gonna go for a knockoff against me, getting rid of my uh, Everlight, which is I guess that's fine. So now hyper beam misses. Oh, and the taunt wears off. Not that it really mattered too much. Uh, now we got the uh, rat going for the toxic against my uh, Porygon. They probably still think that I've got like something like recover because I haven't. Re I don't think I've revealed all my moves in this battle. So uh, now going for the Hyper Beam on the Big Rat. Uh, it does some really nice damage, but it doesn't take it out. And uh, unfortunately for me, I'm stuck in a re I'm stuck in like a turn where I can, on like a recharge turn, so I can't do anything. However, they're going to go for a rest. It's like, ah, oh, I expected an attack, so it's going to be a bulky set. Then again, when I think about it, it was it, it took that fairly well. So it's going to go for the rest, and its item, it's not going to have a, like a Sleep Talker. It's going to have a Chester Berry to wake it up. So that's cool. Unfortunately for me, I'm on recharge. So uh, Porygon is obviously going to go down this turn. There's nothing I can really do except go for Hyper Beam. 
They're going to go for knockoff again, so they probably don't have much to actually hit me. I actually lift that one, which is cool. And I'm able to get a, uh, another Hyper Beam off, which doesn't miss this time. And uh, does some big damage to Raticate. So that wasn't a bad result. Uh, Porygon uh, did some nice damage to Raticate. And I put it in range where I could finish it off. So now I can go into my Abra and take it out. I wasn't sure if it had Sucker Punch, though. That was the only thing. So I had Rest. Uh, where I used Rest before. And I, I was thinking that it could have it, but I took the risk anyway. Went for the Dazzling Gleam and took out the Raticate. So that was pretty good. And uh, that's their Raticate down. I really like it. Uh, I think out of the Alola forms, Raticate. This just looks so big. So now we've got Pumpkaboo coming in. This Pokemon actually was fairly cool. I like Everlight Pumpkaboo. It's really nice. Uh, it's going to go for the Shadow Sneak against my Abra. I did have a feeling that it would have that, but uh, I just stayed in regardless. I wanted to get a Psychic off against it if possible because it's, it's very, very bulky in defense, but not so much in special defense. So now I bring in Magic Up. I was like, guys, this is my chance. I couldn't take out I couldn't take out the Caterpie, but I might be able to take this out if I get a crit. So going for the uh, go for the bounce, Z bounce on the Magic Up. I'm going to do some mega damage against this thing. I knew I like I, I knew that I wouldn't be able to take it out one shot, but I thought if I get a critical hit, there is a chance I can actually take it out. Uh, Magic Up really couldn't do too much. I was thinking if I could run like a like Z splash on this set, but it didn't really work. So I went for the bounce instead. At least it's like, at least it's like raw power there. Um, right off the bat. So doing over half health, I was actually quite happy with that. However, we got a Z move coming from them as well. So the Pumpkaboo is, uh, it's not going to be doing an attacking move here. It's going to boost its uh, stats using its Z power. And uh, now it's going to use a Z Trick or Treat. So Trick or Treat is a really cool move. That animation is really cool now. That's going to be uh, the ghost type added to me. So obviously they're going to go for the Shadow Sneak afterwards. Um, there wasn't much I could do. I just went for Bounce again. And Magic Up is going to get one shot by that. And there's not a lot I can do. So the only Pokemon left that could actually do something to this was my Mayshamp. So you're probably thinking, but you've only got Fighting Time moves. But however, I do have Foresight. So I'm going to go for the Foresight. Uh, this is a Max. If I didn't say this one already, this was a Max Attack, Max Speed Mayshamp. Now we've got Foresight and Cross Chop. So I thought if I can get the Foresight off, then go for the Cross Chop, I could take this out with the Critical Hit right. So they're going to set up the Leech Seed. Obviously, it's a bulky set. It's always going to have Leech Seed. Uh, it's around half health. So I've got the foresight up. Now I can go for the cross chop to actually take out the pumpkaboo, right? So going for cross chop, I can't miss because I got no guard right. And guess what, guys? It lose because I didn't crit, unfortunately. Oh, I really need that crit. I didn't want to go for the rolling kick either. C bump does a lot of damage to me too, obviously due to that uh, trick or treat, uh, Z trick or treat before. Now, this is a problem, right? I'm going to go down to a Shadow Sneak this turn, right? Because I'm in range. They've got a boost in stats. I've got to swap out, and I've got to go into my Dratini, right? Because if you do remember, um, I'm going to get out sped, but I actually have Extreme Speed on the set, and I did use Foresight before, so the Extreme Speed is still going to be able to hit it, right? So uh, C Bomb does a lot of damage to me. I did a Focus Dash anyway. It didn't really matter. Uh, so going for Extreme Speed and taking out the Pub Caboose. So it's like, this is really good. The only problem is my May Champ is pretty much, it's gone. It's only on a little bit of health. It's not the speediest Pokemon in the world. And uh, we have a Absol too, which is uh, absolutely amazing. So going for the uh, Extreme Speed, it's about a 400 hit KO. It's going to take me out with the Ice Beam. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much game. There's nothing I can do in this situation. Mayshap's on a lower amount of health. If only, if I did get the critical hit with the Cross Chop, uh, that would have been game. Like, they had nothing really to go against my Mayshap. But uh, since I didn't get the critical hit, uh, that was able, the, uh, the Absol was able to come in and just finish off uh, my last couple of weekend Pokemon uh, with the special set. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this second battle. Let's get on to the third one. I need a drink. Hmm. I'm losing my voice today. I've actually done a fair bit of narration the last couple of days. So we got a battle on my chat. This one was against Jim. We got the... <laughs> This was, uh, this was, this was actually really salty. So we got a beetle fleet here, and I've got my Lickitung lead. So I thought, man, guys, this is, this is it, guys. I could get the belly drum rollout sweep against the beetle. All I've got to do is set up against the rut. So I get the uh, quick or belly drum, which mattered so much. And uh, now I'm going to get the plus six in attack. Now Beedorf is going to go for the thunder wave. like, oh man, what is, what is with these people using thunder wave against me all the time? Uh, so I'm going to obviously, um, I'm susceptible to paralyzing, but that's about it. So I go for, I was thinking, I could go for the rollout or the power up punch. However, Beedorf's going to go for the super fang on me, which is going to fix damage. I'm going to get paralyzed. That sucks. There's nothing I can do about that. Hoping that I can actually take this thing out. So now the Beedorf's going to go for yet another Super Fang, more fixed damage move. And I'm going to go for the rollout on the Beedorf, hoping I can actually take this one out. So roller hits uh, fairly hard there. The next one is going to be enough to take it out right. 
Um, unfortunately, the, for me, the uh, the beat off is actually going to go for the Endure. I was like, well, wonder why they go for Endure for. So rollout actually uh, happens, and I'm going to hit them with the second one, and beat off does live there. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I might be able to take it out now. It's more powerful. However, the uh, quick lord doesn't actually come into effect, and uh, beat off is going to take out my leg down. Guys, I can't get to sleep with this thing. I'm going to keep trying though. It's going to happen, guys. You want to see the lick of tongue ro uh, roll out, belly drum, scum sweep? Let me know in the comment section. All right, so swapping a magic up here, guys. Finishing off with the Disrespect Flail. That was on one health, so I thought that was like the weakest move ever. For example, right, if they were on two health, I don't think that would have killed. Like, it's, it's kind of like ring out. So now we've got the uh, Love Disc coming out. This actually caused me a uh, fair few problems. So I went for a Z move this turn, and so did they. So they're going to go for the Normalium Z Splash, boosting the attack of the Love Disc uh, by plus three. Now, Love Disc actually gets some okay attacks or well, physical attacks. Uh, it does get Waterfall, which is nice on it too. Um, apart from that, it doesn't really get too much more. So hoping I can get a crit on the Love Disc. I know that it doesn't have Focus Sash or anything like that, and uh, hoping I can take it out and uh, not get disrespected again. So uh, Magic Up's going to go for its Z move. Uh, while it does that, I'm going to take another swig of water because I'm losing my voice. Jeez. Um, also, one thing before I take a drink. Um, I am thinking of doing another live stream uh, tomorrow. So, wait, so is it tomorrow? No, it's... What am I talking about? Um, yeah, actually, no, it is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. I will be doing a live stream. If I do one, it will be battles and stuff and, you know, chilled and some drawings and multi-battles and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just make sure you're looking out on the subscriptions. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter... Uh, Pip Knight YT there if you don't want to miss any of those notifications. All right, anyway, so as expected, it lives the uh, a bounce, a Z bounce, and I get shredded. I, Magikarp didn't do much in any of these battles, man. I don't know. I, I, I just think I'm not sure why it didn't do anything. So we got the <laughs> we got the uh, love this going for the waterfall. I was hoping I didn't get flinched here. Thank goodness I didn't. I'm able to get the uh, psychic up and take out the love this. I didn't. I really didn't feel like getting swept by love this. Well, today of course. My Lickitung already caused me enough salt. So now we've got Tree Lord coming in. There's not much I can really do to this apart from the Dazzling Gleam. Um, it's, it's, it's a fairly bulky Pokemon too, so I didn't think this would do like a lot of damage to it. It's about a three hit KO. So now we've got the Alolan Executor going for the Trick Rooms. I'm like, oh. But there is one good thing about this, right? My Porygon is Quiet Nature. And, you know, it's very, very much suited for Trick Rooms. I was like, that's cool. The only thing I was wishing I had on it was Ice Beam, right? Because that would one shot it easy peasy. So Abra's going to go down. I didn't really, like, there wasn't a lot I could want to actually swap into a lot on Executor. It's got some nice stats uh, in Special Attack and even Attack Rub. So now Porygon's going to go for the Hyper Beam. I thought I could go for the Tri Attack, but I thought, nah, let's go for Hyper Beam, try and finish this thing off. And it lives! Damn! So now it's going to go for the Sludge Bomb on my Porygon, obviously trying to poison me. I'm thinking I'm running like a bulky set with like a recover and stuff. Then the, then the Alola Executor is going to go for the Hyper Beam. Oh my goodness, that looked amazing. And uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage to me because I do have the uh, Evlot. Anyway, so I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack and finish off uh, the Alolan Executor. Man, that was, that was amazing. That Hyper Beam looks so cool on <laughs> Alolan Executor. Anyway, so the uh, Trick Room has run out, unfortunately for me. And uh, now we've got the Gibble coming in. I actually quite like Shiny Gibble. Looks cool. Pity about the Mega Evolution and all those other ones. So now it's going to go for the Outrage against my Paragon. And guess what, guys? I lift on 5 health. And I'm able to get a Hyper Beam off against the Gibble. I was thinking, well, I don't think they've got Focus Sash on this. And they don't. And the Gibble is down. So that was pretty good. Uh, Porygon took out uh, two Pokemon there. you gotta got to give it commending for that. So now we got the uh, we got the Bravery coming out. There's not, nothing I can do. I'm on Recharge. And it's going to be a special set. And it's going to take me out with the Air Slash. Now, I still have two Pokemon remaining. And uh, they've got two Pokemon remaining too. So I actually had a lot of close battles with this team. That's why I thought I'd add a couple more in. If you guys like the idea of triple battles, like, uh, like please let me know. Anyway, so I'm going to outspeed, which is nice. Going for the Scummy Cross Shot, and I get a crit, taking it out in one blow. Now, this is my favorite part of the, <laughs> the battle. So the, uh, the last Pokemon is the Regirock. I thought, well, Regirock is very tanky. I don't even think a critical hit will take it out because it, its its defenses are that that big. And I thought they had something like uh, good in plan for me. So I'm with the Rolling Kick right. I get a flinch. like, that's really good right. But I thought, well, I want to go for another Rolling Kick and see what that does. And I get two flinches in a row on Rolling Kick. And that, my friends, is game. I hope you enjoyed that one and that Regirock. Well, it's going to be a pile of salt after. It's going to be a pile of salt. There needs to be a regular rock that's just made out of salt. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed all three battles. Uh, we should be streaming tomorrow. I might even get a sweep up before stream. All right, peace.